there, there is a recognition of the problems of transcription uh, quite early on, uh, just transcribing, you know, making copies of these texts because, of course, they didn't have Xerox machines or anything like that. All the copies had to be by hand. Um, and we have a pattern of scribal stuff back into the second, third century BC of scribes looking at their text, not just copying it, but looking at it and deciding, oh, I think those words are wrong, and then fixing them, whether they were wrong or not. Um, and then when we get, um, the Hebrew Bible has an authoritative text, but that text is called the Masoretic text, and it comes from about the 9th, 10th century AD. And what makes that authoritative is, the, is this group known as the Masoretes worked out a set of notations in the side, in the margins, that essentially prevented this kind of fixing, you know, flagged unusual forms and said, you know, this is the right form. It occurs three other times, for example. And from about the 8th or 9th century, we have an extremely stable Hebrew text. It's, it essentially stops changing at that point, unlike almost any other text that's been copied through the Middle Ages, at least that I'm aware of. And, and, and in fact, Targum Onkelos gets its own Masora, its own set of notes to prevent it from changing. So it's moving towards the status of, of Scripture because of its rabbinic approval. <laughs>